MDG-453 is a humanized monoclonal antibody against TIM-3, TIM-3, which is an inhibitory immune receptor on multiple immune effector cells. Um, more importantly, it's also present on leukemia cells, but not on normal hematopoietic progenitor cells. The study is looking at a combination of MBG-453, this humanized monoclonal antibody against TIM3, in combination with hypomethylating agents, namely the cytobine. And the reason for combining these two agents was we saw that when patients were exposed to hypomethylating agents, they upregulated the level of TIM3 on their immune effector cells. Patients enrolled in this trial had to have either high-risk or very high-risk MDS by the IPSSR scoring system. They were either patients with newly diagnosed AML that were not eligible for convention induction therapy and also included patients with relapsed refractory AML. The way the study was designed, the study had several arms, including single agent MBG-453 for this patient population. MBG-453 combined with decidabine and MBG-453 with other agents that also affected the immune system, which will not be part of the study moving forward. The safety profile of MBG-453 in combination with decidabine was extremely well tolerated. We did not observe any serious grade four or five events that were related to immune toxicities, which was something that was to be noted in an immune modulating agent. We did see grade three neutropenia, thrombocytopenia, and some fatigue, which is common in patients that are treated with hypomethylating agents like decidabine. We did not see any grade four or higher immune-related events like colitis, pneumonitis, or neurological events that have been seen with other similar agents. So overall, the grade three and four events in this study were as expected and the combination was extremely well tolerated. The preliminary efficacy data for this combination was extremely encouraging in our high-risk and very high-risk MDS population. The overall response rate for our MDS patients was 59%. This included CR rates as well as marrow CR rates with hematological improvement. For our newly diagnosed AML patients, the overall response rate was over 40%. And to note that our AML population was mostly intermediate and high-risk AML patients by ELN categorization. Uh, most of the responses seen were actually in the high-risk AML population. So this was all, overall, we felt this was very encouraging. The next steps involve looking at MBG-453 in a variety of combinations for both MDS and AML. We will be looking at MBG-453 in combination with azacitidine, as well as other therapies for both MDS and AML. 